Hello, welcome to a countdown of the 8 things you didn't know about the Eyes of the Slain series so far. Eyes of the Slain is a series on the main channel consisting of two episodes so far that spanned over the last year. Today, me, the director of Eyes of the Slain, will be going over some glitches and easter eggs you might have not noticed while watching the first two episodes. Number one, this was the most found easter egg in the entire video. The whole first scene of the video of Eyes of the Slain was completely inspired recreation of the opening of the popular game at the time, Detroit Become Human. Number two, in Eyes of the Slain, you can see a building is labeled Sector 16. This is actually a reference to Silver Sea 16, since Eyes of the Slain was inspired by the Madman music video. Number 3, a scrapped Eyes of the Slain scene. That's right, the original Eyes of the Slain actually had a lost scene, and the scene it opened differently with the main character's daughter actually leaving the house with the mother. This was later scrapped and replaced with the building scene inspired by Detroit Become Human. Number 4, there were actually a lot of mistakes and glitches in part 1 of Eyes of the Slain, the biggest one being the final shot of the entire music video. The blood magically disappeared, as you can see in this shot. There's a lot of blood from what the Stitch Wraith did, but if you can see in this shot, it's all gone, and I don't know why. And it still bothers me to this day, how, how did this get past me? Number 5. All characters in Eyes of the Slain 2 were actually all made up and don't have any canon name, but in the files, they actually do. While the names were placeholders and are in no way canon, it's still a cool thing to point out. The red kid being Jake and the blue one being called Simon, while the creator of the song was called Simon Curtis, so the kid in the blue was a direct reference to him. The kid in the purple jacket was modeled off of one of my friends so they were never given a name. And the name of the other female character was forgotten. And I do- I no longer have the file on me, so, uh, that one's up to you, community. <laughs> Number six. Another glitch got passed in Eyes of the Slain 2. The main cop from Eyes of the Slain 1 came back for Eyes of the Slain 2 with a scar because of the car crash in the first episode. But weirdly, in some of the final scenes, you can see that Scar disappears near the end of the video. Which is quite strange, and I don't know how this got past me either, but he, he's supposed to have a Scar. Number 7. The creator of some of the models and most of the lighting in Eyes of the Slain 1 was made by Most Pixel, who gave himself some callouts in the video. First being the place the main character goes to, being called Mostopia and the other one being the license plate of the police car reading MSTPXL, which is obviously just stands for most pixel. Number 8, in Eyes of the Slain 1, there's something hidden that you cannot actually find in the video, yet the set itself. Alumio, a fellow animator, helped build the map for Eyes of the Slain, but left something in the map we didn't even notice until the video was almost done. If you go into the building, you will just see a giant Illumio head with some fire around it on the inside just staring back at you. Which means Illumio is technically canon to the Eyes of the Slain universe, I guess. <sighs> Anyways, that's all for me today. If you'd like more facts about our projects, leave a like below. It's greatly appreciated. Now go take a shower.